Good morning, how are you doing? As you can see right there, I'm trying out the tent box and we have a cold, cold morning. It's completely hazy and misty. So this is the little invention that I've made. It's really rudimentary because my top, the tops that I have are not meant to be used as an awning. But, you know, live and learn. I'm gonna make a coffee. We're gonna have some breakfast and I'm gonna show you everything. And then I'm gonna show you around the car and what we've made. But this is the really rudimentary setup that we've done. Okay, so I've got enough. It's a bit difficult to do this one-handed, but you get the picture. Really comfortable to use a water dispenser, an electric water dispenser. So this is a portable milk frother and it's really convenient. We warm up the milk as well on the same pot that we boil the water. And if you use, it's just a simple, it goes by batteries. And you just have to leave it here for a while. Coffee turns out tasting amazing. We wait five minutes. We put the coffee on the French press. We wait five minutes. We use the milk frother on the milk. And then it just tastes amazing. Then you slowly press it down after five minutes or so to let it brew.
and your coffee is done. And with the milk frother, with the portable milk frother, it turns out really, really nice. This is the setup that we have. We have two blankets like that one, but my girlfriend has the other one on her lap. Then we have like a normal duvet. We brought it in the car. It's not down or anything. It's not like particularly good quality. So then we have two sleeping bags, two cheap like 20 pounds eBay sleeping bags. Then we have a down sleeping bag, which is this one, which is the one that my girlfriend's using. And yeah. This is our setup. We have it right now drying. I got the forest green because I really liked this color. But don't worry, when it's sunny, or well, it hasn't been particularly sunny, but if it's daylight in here with the forest green, you will not get any light whatsoever inside. With the orange, I'm aware that you do get some light inside the tent. Now, I have the tablet over there, if you can see it, and I just clamp it with a tablet holder on one of the poles. And when we go to bed, we watch a movie, although I was knackered yesterday, so I just went to bed straight away. But yeah, this is the inside of our tent box. Right now, it's just drying from all the condensation from yesterday night. So I don't know if this, some, if this is something that happens with all rooftop tents, but... Can you hear that flapping? That is insane. It's starting to get a bit windy now. Listen to that. It's crazy. And there's nothing I can do. I've tightened it as much as I can. So I've tightened these as much as I can. There's really not, not more I can tighten it. But when the, like, how, we're not going to be able to sleep if it's flapping like that. It's just insane the noise it makes. There it goes. There's just nothing I can do. And it's just that side. Nowhere else it's making any noise. So I was pretty stupid when I was setting this up. I folded it down. I didn't realize I should have done this from the beginning. But that looks way better than before. So this is how everything looks. It's just flap, flapping non-stop. This new model comes with this guide ropes and they are good quality, I'm not gonna lie. You can like push a lever and then move it and once you're there, you can like tighten it. So I'm gonna figure out how this work and I'm gonna put them on. So we're at Latkill Wild Campsite. I hope I got that correct. It's in the Peak District and it's absolutely beautiful. It's actually a shame 
that you can't see because it's really misty and probably it's overblown on the camera but the place is really really beautiful in the summer I'm guessing this is absolutely amazing the guy who owns it is really really nice and we're gonna make the fire in a bit what time is it let me see so it's seven o'clock so it's gonna get dark really really soon pretty cold as you can see I'm geared up the tent box it's really good but there's a few things that I will show you in the video the flapping and when we woke up it was full of condensation and I find it really funny because they tell you it's like a little pocket inside the tent where it says leave the windows a little bit open to avoid condensation I mean obviously if it's summer you can do that but it's freezing it's like four degrees and I'm not gonna leave the windows open not a chance it was full of condensation I woke up sometimes in the night not a lot so I had a good night's sleep I wasn't cold because I have two sleeping bags a duvet a down sleeping bag two blankets so we wasn't cold but when I woke up in the night and I touched the blanket that was on top of me like on top of everything it was literally wet and but that's fine that's you get that with every tent so there's nothing really that we can do about that but yeah we're just relaxing underneath the awning we're gonna make the fire we're gonna cook tonight chicken uh, chicken breasts I hope it's I hope I can make it first of all because I'm not that very good oh it's freezing I'm not that good cooking on the fire to be honest but I will try my best by the way there's a few things that you get when you come to a campsite instead of going wild camping so we do have toilets which my fiance really appreciates we do have toilets flushable toilets here at Black Hill Wild Campsite he also sells you wood you have a lot of things near here where you can go and actually do because we're wild camping I like to stay around and just be here a lot of hikes a lot of walks obviously it's the mountains you also have running water so you have running water flushable toilets but that's everything you get the only thing you're gonna get is running water toilets and if you want to buy some wood for the fires We just had dinner. We're hanging out by the campfire. Everybody's asleep. And the fire. So we're gonna chill out here by the fire for a while. And then when that's done, we're gonna go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. So this is what we do at night. We clamp the tablet here. We're just laying down in the rooftop tent watching a movie while we lay down. Good morning. This is the view that I have from my tent. And just to show you that 
the blanket is wet. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it is wet. And I'm thinking, it's all those droplets just falling down. Her side is dry, but my one is not. So it rained a lot tonight. As you can see, the car is soaked. I'm completely filthy. I tried to make a fire this morning, but it was a lost job because I left the firewood outside and I didn't have any fire starters. So I couldn't make the fire. So I just used the gas, the gas stove. But as you can see, the tent is completely soaked. So I'm not gonna be able to dry it out before we leave because it is just still, it's not raining, but it's just this annoying thing that's just coming down. And we're just gonna unpack, try to get everything out of there. As I told you, I'm completely filthy from trying to make the fire. And yeah, this is the day this morning, completely rainy. Thank you very much for watching and like always, see you in the next one.